anger and fear in the streets of Lima, rivals fighting and throwing stones. It's one week before a runoff election and either candidate, Keiko Fujimori or Pedro Castillo, could win Peru's presidency. Opinion polls say it's too close to call. On Sunday, a final TV debate to win over 20% of undecided voters. Usted está acostumbrado Mr. Castillo, with your hate and divisive language, you've contributed to those aggressions against journalists. You used to throwing rocks. This is the stone thrown at our caravan. Keiko Fujimori is the daughter of former President Alberto Fujimori and trails Pedro Castillo by nearly three percentage points. She's facing a popular rival and has been charged with organized crime, money laundering, obstruction of justice and perjury. That's for allegedly receiving $1.2 million from a Brazilian construction company during her first presidential bid in 2011. She could face up to 30 years in prison if convicted. Doesn't it ring a bell that when we talk about corruption, isn't it a synonym of Fujimori? Doesn't it ring a bell that when we talk about corruption, one must have a speck of morals? But that is unimportant for many of her supporters, who fear Castillo will impose a communist government, nationalize private companies, or confiscate their bank accounts, something Castillo denies. Castillo has radical ideas. He wants to crush all institutions and impose communism. We don't want what happened in Venezuela to happen here. Analysts say the outcome of the debate will define who wins the election. Analysts say Castillo's proposals are vague and inconsistent, but his plan to reform the free market model has kept him on the lead. Posters say more than 80 percent of Peruvians want some economic policy changes. While many fear Castillo's plans, others are welcoming change. Fujimori represents her father's authoritarian style, where women were sterilized by force, labor stability was destroyed, a constitution that doesn't benefit the people. Castillo will nationalize our natural resources. That's where we'll get funds for health and education. With tens of thousands of people dead and about two million infected, the pandemic has taken a major toll in Peru. Two and a half million people are jobless. The country is polarized, a divide that is likely to continue even after the election. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.